orthographic drawing. Start by dividing your page into four equal quadrants like I have. Then label the quadrants accordingly depending on whether you're doing first angle orthographic or third angle orthographic projection. An orthographic drawing represents a three-dimensional object using several two-dimensional views of the object. Third angle projection is where the 3D object is seen to be in the third quadrant. It is positioned below and behind the viewing planes. The planes are transparent and each view is pulled onto the plane closest to it. The front plane of the projection is seen to be between the observer and the object. In the first angle projection, the object is placed in the first quadrant. The object is positioned at the front of the vertical plane and top of the horizontal plane. The object is placed between the observer and the projection planes. Here is an example of how third angle orthographic projection would be drawn. And here is an example of how first angle orthographic projection would be drawn. Here is the symbols for both first angle and third angle orthographic projection. When doing an orthographic drawing, you should always put your symbol of whether you're doing third angle orthographic or first angle orthographic projection on your drawing. You should also include your scale. And when you're drawing the dimensions, the measurement must be written on the side closest to the drawing.